emotions in my body. These are five and six year old kids. They've never been in programs before. They've only been in school for a term. They're understanding the concepts and I find that kids who might not have opened up before have started expressing themselves. So that, I found that really warming. Understanding who they are as people and being very much self-aware because those self-awareness skills are really important to be able to self-manage. It's a very unique space. We're not school teachers, we're not parents. We have that snapshot that we're able to work with kids five hours in a day, twice a week, where kids can express themselves. They can just have a conversation. So, and it's empowering. I've had kids come back to me and say, you know, I felt like I belonged just because you heard me, you listened. He gets them to think about their emotions in a different way and it just supports what we do here. There are certain kids in the playground, you see that they might be a little bit lost. You know, they're not, they're not playing in a group. They're, they're not talking to other people. They just need somewhere to be. And the idea of the friendship seat is that they can just sit there and either be alone or a couple of uh, social justice kids can come along and sit with them and you know, open up a chat if they want. If the kid wants to talk, they will. But if not, it's just a safe space for them to feel like they belong. Kids love to give back and they love knowing they've got a responsibility and a position. We have community members coming in and thanking our group for making a difference in someone's life and actually giving them hope. They really have a voice in the way that the, the group operates. Yes, a seed's been planted that day that one moment in time can affect a child's confidence into the future. That just keeps me going all the time.